The New World Center is a concert hall in the South Beach section of Miami Beach, Florida, designed by Frank Gehry. It is the home of the New World Symphony, with a capacity of 756 seats. It opened in January 2011, located one block north of Lincoln Road in the South Beach stretch of Miami Beach. The building also features a new 2.5 acre public park next to it, designed by the firm West 8 after Gary relinquished the job following a budget reduction. A half acre of that is the soundscape area, which allows outside visitors to experience live, free, wall casts of select events throughout the season through the use of visual and audio technology on a 7,000 square foot 650 square meters projection wall. Such wall casts are planned to occur at least twice a month. A sound system incorporating 167 individually tuned speakers augments the high-definition video presentation. During performances, QR codes are shown to enable the outside audience to scan them and obtain more information about the work in question. In addition to live broadcasts of events inside, works in the video arts themselves can be shown on the wall, including those produced during the Art Basel Miami Beach event. The projection wall is said to be the largest permanently established projection surface in North America. Over a thousand people watched the wall casts during each of the performances in the center's opening week. By the end of the park's first year, the Miami Herald wrote that the free films, video art, and concert wallcasts there had produced a much-needed sense of community. Topic: Construction. The acoustics for the center were designed by Yasuhisa Toyota. Gary and Toyota had previously worked together on the Walt Disney Concert Hall in Los Angeles. The intentionally small seating arrangement is steeply banked, allowing concertgoers to be close to the musicians no seat is more than 13 rows from the stage. Gary said, "...the audience is right in the music." Projections upon sale like panels hanging from the hall ceiling allow performances to be accompanied by video presentations. The center includes training facilities for the symphony. The symphony's artistic director, Michael Tilson Thomas, was instrumental in emphasizing the public outreach and digital technology aspects of the center. Gary and Tilson Thomas share personal history and a long friendship, with Gary sometimes having baby sat for Tilson Thomas when both were growing up in the Los Angeles area. A prime goal of the whole enterprise was to provide ongoing experiments and architectural support towards making classical music more accessible and enticing to younger generations. After its first half season in the new venue, a New World Symphony official said, "...ticket sales have been phenomenal." Unlike some of Gary's best-known works, including the Disney Hall, the glass and white plaster exterior is mostly rectangular and unassuming. The acclaim for the prior work had been great enough to scare off potential clients, with Gary saying, when Disney opened seven years ago, I was never asked to do another concert hall. This was done to stay in commonality with Miami Beach's predominantly plaster and glass architectural look, where Gary's usual use of metals would have seemed out of place. However, once inside the atrium, which is lit by the sky during the daytime, the architect's usual assemblage of curved forms dominates, especially in a jumbled stack of over 30 rehearsal rooms, offices, recording facilities, and the like. As Tilson Thomas said of the initial design process, gradually it started to turn into one of Frank's buildings turned inside out, which is essentially what it is, and that it was going to be mostly like Miami. Topic reception reviews of the New World Center have been favorable. 
Christopher Hawthorne of the Los Angeles Times wrote, This is a piece of architecture that dares you to underestimate it or write it off at first glance. Nikolai Arusov, architecture critic of the New York Times, stated that Tilson Thomas and Gary had created a building that spills over with populist ideas, sometimes to the point of distraction. It reflects Mr. Gary's belief that music, like other creative endeavors, should be more than an aesthetic matter. As a shared experience, one that reaches each of us at our emotional core, it helps unite us into a civilized community. Arrival of the Center was hailed by Kathleen McGuigan, architecture writer for The Daily Beast, who said that Miami Beach is now home to world class architecture and the sense of solid permanence that such buildings bring. Victoria Newhouse of Architectural Record wrote, A welcoming openness to the exterior is provided by the atrium and reinforced by the wall casts, and the auditorium combines intimacy with remarkable physical and acoustical flexibility. The magic sparked by the collaboration of Gary and Thomas just might fulfill their hope to turn around a perceived faltering interest in classical music by the young. Gary's role also confirmed that the Starchitect phenomenon had reached the Miami area. Following Herzog and Demuron's 1111 Lincoln Road the year before, and with that firm's new Miami Art Museum in the works as well, the 100,641 square foot 9,349.9 square meters building cost some $160 million. Of that, $15 million came from the city of Miami Beach, $25 million from Miami-Dade County, and the rest from private donations and the sale of the New World Symphony's previous home, the Lincoln Theater. Ground was broken for the structure in January 2008. It was built on the site of two old parking lots. A new parking garage was also constructed as part of the project. 